with dozens of mini games, plenty of love interests, and one pretty scary looking lizard, Paradise Lust aims to reimagine the limitations of visual novels. This title, set on a seemingly deserted island, is available on Steam for PC, Mac, SteamOS, and Linux, as well as for Android through their Itch and their Patreon. You are hired as a bartender on your brother's cruise for the Miss World Media Pageant Competition. An intense storm hits your boat, leaving you and the rest of the guests trapped on the island of Tuba Tuba. On this strange island, you try to find the rest of the ship's passengers while also trying to survive this new reality, which involves building new bridges, new houses, cleaning up the resort, and getting to know the lovely pageant contestants. As you learn more about each character, you will learn about their ambitions, dreams, and life goals. You can discuss the tragedy of the boat disaster, their family back home, or even fears about your budding romance. You get to know these individuals from the inside out, and I was amazed at how much effort was placed into connecting with them. There is also a mystery that evolves in the later half of the game that was really exciting to watch unfold. Spoilers. While this is primarily a visual novel, there is a wide variety of minigames. You can tell that a lot of effort and passion went into crafting each one of them, whether it's searching through drawers and putting maps together, to digging in the actual dirt. My favorite minigame is the one where you create paintings of you and the other characters on the island, which also raises each character's relationship points with you. Keeping track of those relationship points is made easy with a phone that, somehow, still works. Within the phone, each character has an affinity meter and five different relationship levels, beginning with acquaintances and eventually ending as soulmates. Activities such as fishing and gathering resources like bananas, coconuts, and flowers can be used for quests, sold, or even given as gifts to raise that affinity meter. You start each day with a set amount of energy that goes down with most actions, so you do have to plan your day carefully. Don't worry though, there is no time limit, so you can spend as many days as you like on this tropical paradise stress-free. And the comic style characters and backgrounds make this paradise truly beautiful. All of the characters are animated to sway and breathe, and the foliage in the background moves similarly, making everything feel more alive. Relaxing tropical music with the accompaniment of birds and ocean waves helps you vibe as you explore your new home. The sexual interactions are also animated, but a bit jerky and remind me of cutout animation. Flavor-wise, I particularly appreciate it when developers allow various love interests to have their own preferences, so you can choose which ones to pursue based on your tastes, whether it's with food, BDSM, or roleplay. And while Paradise Lust does give you a diverse selection of waifus, you will have to romance most of them in order to progress the game. And while I'm at it, there was fast travel, but you couldn't see where anyone was on the map. It got a little tedious trying to memorize each character's routes. Let's not even talk about how your brother gets done wrong. I really enjoyed Paradise Lust. Steam says that I've put about 130 hours into completing this game. Through the mysteries, the dramas, and the lizard romance, Paradise Lust is a great entertaining adventure, and I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys visual novels. The sequel, Paradise Lust 2, is in development and I'm definitely going to cover it later on. Until then, absolutely check out this fully completed island romp. And as always, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.